Ladies and gentlemen, to extend a special welcome to our distinguished visitors on behalf of Chaplain Brigadier General Pluskowski, Director of USAT, the Commandant of the United States Army Chaplain Center School, Chaplain Colonel Jeff Hawkins. And to begin this evening, wouldn't you say this guy's looking pretty good in his whites tonight, right there? Very Honored to have Chaplain Boone in scene for us, and it is an absolute delight to simply say good evening and welcome to the party that it has taken 100 years to make. Ooh. <laughs> Staff, faculty, cadre, obviously have all invested much time, energy, and effort to make today and this evening a very special time together. And to the entire USAC family, simply want to say thank you so much on behalf of Chaplain Breeder General Pluskowski and myself. We so appreciate you. Uh, all that you have done to make today such a very special day with very special people. And especially this evening, we want to say thank you to our students, those here from the Chaplain Basic Officer Leader Course and our students in the Chaplain Captain Career Course. Would you welcome them and say thanks to them? Congratulations on the distinction of being centennial graduates, centennial classes. As mentioned, it's my distinct honor to welcome our distinguished guests to our gala celebration this evening. First of all, a heartfelt welcome and remarks from our Deputy Chief of Chaplains. Good to have him and our Regimental Sergeant Major and his wife with us this evening. Thank you so much and welcome as Chaplain Soljan comes to the podium. Would you welcome him? Please? Chaplain Pluskowski, Chaplain Hawkins, and Sergeant Major Lowe, on behalf of the Chief of Chaplains, I want to thank you for an awesome day of celebration of 100 years of commitment to preparing young men and women, religious professionals, to go out and do what our nation has asked them to do. I enjoyed this morning. I was like, my, it, it exceeded my expectations by a long shot. It was an awesome morning. Um, the, the, the team has done a great job here of capturing our history in just a wonderful, wonderful way. And if we don't remember our history, uh, shame on us. We should celebrate our history. And so this evening really is about celebrating that great history. And for some of you are sitting there at the point of what we call aspiration. You know, you're about to graduate from the basic course or, or AIT and go out into the Army and do what we've been doing for over 230 years, and that's delivering what soldiers and families need, and that is God. More than anything, they need the Lord. And we've done this as a team together for all of these years. So just envision, if you would, for a moment, what it was like to be George Washington, to stare at that ragtag, untrained bunch of individuals who are going to lay down potentially their lives in newfound freedoms for their country. And the very first thing that he did is they need chaplains. And we're going to celebrate that anniversary here this evening as part of our festivities. And over generations and over the, over the years, we have continued to earn and gain and garner the trust of our military leadership in providing and performing that care for soldiers with excellence. And it's the school where it all begins. It's the school where it takes that raw clergy person or that young citizen soldier and alongside our civilian counterparts informs them into someone who is able to deliver religious support to our nation's army. I don't know about you, but I couldn't be prouder to be a chaplain. I couldn't be prouder to be a religious affairs specialist or a civilian serving in the chaplain corps that I am in today's army. God bless each and every one of you this evening as we celebrate and thank you for your service and thank you for the many who have come, who have contributed in the past. For those of you that are contributing in the present and an exciting future that's postured to deliver that religious support in the years to come. God bless you. Thank you very much, sir. Again, good to have you and Sergeant Major Martinez and your wife with us this evening. And additionally, we extend a delightful welcome to a friend of USAC's, our former USAC's Transformation Lead and former Deputy Chief of Chaplains USAR. We have with us Chaplain Brigadier General Colton Fisher and his family, Lisa, your family. Thank you for being with us this evening. Also with us tonight, our 
Prada Chaplain celebrating with us, and uh, I think Faith is here with him as well. Would you stand, James? Good to have you here this evening. Chaplain Colonel James Palmer, and Chaplain Colonel Milk Johnson, our senior chaplain at Fort Jackson, in his capacity serving the installation and the CD there. Thank you, Mel. Good to have you all with us this evening. Also visiting from other commands with us tonight, we have Chaplain Colonel Eric Albertson came up from SITCOM. Eric, where are you this evening? Please stand. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Chaplain Colonel Mike Charles, Cyber Command, who will retire at Fort Jackson in just a matter of days here. Welcome this evening with your wife, Mel. And again, Sergeant Major Charles Moultrie from TRADOC, I believe, is also with us tonight. Is that right? Thank you, Sergeant Major. Good to have you here. Sergeant Major Fred Manny, the New York State National Guard. We'd like to recognize you this evening. And also, what a better way to celebrate 100 years of forging religious support professionals, leaders, uh, servant leaders, as we say. Folks who are experienced as unmatched in their character, their competence, and connection. Folks who have traveled from far and wide, having given their heart and soul in years past, are distinguished formers, commandants, and command sergeants major with us this evening from past years. To them, we say, especially tonight, welcome home. Stand if you would, and please let us recognize you. Chaplain Colonel Leading from 1992 to 1994, his wife Cindy, commandant. <laughs> Chaplain Colonel... Gilbert Pingle, 1992 to 2002, and his wife Linda here this evening. Thank you, sir. Chaplain Colonel Vicalvi, 2004 to 2006, and his wife Pam with us tonight. <laughs> Chaplain Colonel Clark McGriff from 2006 to 2008, our Commandant, his wife Susan. Somebody you may recognize in white up here, Chaplain Colonel Sam Boone, 2008 to 2010. We're delighted to have this evening with us Chaplain David Smart, who is 2010, 2011, and his wife Mary. And then also Chaplain Colonel David Caldwell, serving from 2011 to 2014. Great to have you. And in that lineup, we welcome especially tonight, it was great to see this morning and in the reception that we held, a special welcome to Chaplain Colonel Griffin Dixie. Uh, his wife are here with us this evening, and we recognize you. Thank you so much for coming with us, and our prayers are with you. Also, our own, we have Command Sergeant Major, Miss Bridget Smith, who continues to serve. She was in that capacity 2005 to 2009. And then also Command Sergeant Major Chantel Senadiaz, now serving as the Command Sergeant Major at SSI, right up the road. Additionally, we're proud to have a regimental sergeant major that you are familiar with. Many of you are former regimental sergeant major. Sergeant Major, stop with us this okay. evening. Please, let us recognize you. And well, we've got a lot of folks to thank and welcome and continuing with that list, gladly so this evening. One highlight are two individuals, distinguished civilians, that have each served uh, at the school for nearly one-third of the school's existence each over three decades already of service here at the heart and home of the chaplaincy. So can we give a special welcome to one that we love right here, right off the bat, and that is Mr. Paul Volano. Paul, stand up. Our knowledge management officer, technical editor of the chaplaincy general, and then also one delightful member of the team who has had so much to do with today and this evening, and that is our museum director, Miss Marcia McManus, with us here this evening. Marcia, please. Thank you for all your service. In addition to our very own branch historian, Dr. Boyd, and core museum director, Ms. Marcia McManus, we were blessed to be visited by a trilogy of historians today that have helped us creatively look back and launch forward. And we're blessed to have a couple of them with us this evening. Dr. Richard Steinbachen is here, and he will be presenting just a little bit later this evening, retired chaplain colonel and a dramatic historian. And then Dr. Ken Lawson is with us, retired chaplain colonel, also author and chapter four historian. Would you stand, Dr. Lawson, and be recognized this evening? Thank you, sir. And then, of 
course, we were touched by the story that was told today. Mr. Ray Capon, nephew of our most recent Chaplain Medal of Honor recipient from the Korea War, Emil Capon, whose beautiful Medal of Honor is right here on display for us this evening. Please take time to enjoy that. Mr. Ray Capon, would you stand and be recognized with us this evening? Thank you, sir. <laughs> Welcome to all. It's a delightful evening to be together and celebrate, isn't it? And uh, interestingly, I had uh, someone approach me beforehand, and they said, today, I just thought it was important for you all to know that through the events of the morning, uh, they indicated that they had heard uh, the voice of God uh, in their life, uh, informing their call. Uh, we have students that are with us trying to decide whether this will be, so to speak, the mission field on which they serve, the Army soldiers and families. And already today, God had spoken uh, to that chaplain who indicated a call to the ministry, specifically to soldiers and their families, was affirmed and confirmed this morning. It's already been a special day. It's going to be a special evening. And tonight, we celebrate the very special place, the very special people, the very special mission, as we also enjoy celebrating not just 100 years of our school, but the 240 third anniversary and birthday of our beloved Chaplain Corps tonight. Would you give a round of applause as we get ready? Thank you. 